But if after one round, which was the Monte Carlo, that was the position, and you'll see that those famous Swedes were lying in fourth, fifth, and sixth place. Well, now they've got home advantage because we're about to bring you highlights of the second round of the World Rally Championship, the Swedish Rally. The city of Karlstad in the central Varmland of Sweden. Scenery that belongs more to Zhivago than Kankanen and Salonen. But each February, this area of Sweden is shaken out of the deep freeze by the arrival of the World Rally Championship. snow had arrived just a day before the event and it arrived in force. The leading cars acted as a snowplow for Michael Sundstrom's privately entered Mazda and Sundstrom was fastest on the opening stages. A crash would soon end his effort but it still looked like being Mazda's event. Lancia had won the opening round in Monte Carlo but the victorious Mickey Biazion was absent from Sweden. It was local star Michael Eriksson, quickest for Lancia on the opening day, ahead of his illustrious colleagues Kankanen and Erlen. Timo Salonen, in his works Mazda, had the worst of the conditions and a turbocharger problem. So leading the works challenge early on was Ingvar Carlsson. It was important to seize any early advantage because the Swedish was a real sprint, the shortest world championship qualifier for five years. World champion Ewa Kankinen in his Lancia, running at number one, and like Salonen, having to battle through the worst of the snow. And a slightly off form Marco Allen, making his first appearance since the Fiesa ruling robbed him of the world title that he felt he'd won in last year's final round in America. Stig Blomquist was giving his usual spirited display in the four-wheel drive Ford Sierra. And Per Eklund, another Swedish expert in the Audi Quattro.
The mild weather preceding the event prevented the running of the traditional stage on a frozen lake. Making up for this, the next best thing, a ski run. Michael Eriksson inherits the lead from Sundstrom. Mazda, a second to Lancia. Ingvar Carlsen proceeding with the utmost caution. Timo Salonen, a good first day's drive from him, given his starting position and mechanical problems. He's right behind Carlsen in third. Joa Kankinen, fourth for Lancia, but under increasing pressure from Stig Blomquist. Blomquist really was one of the stars of the first day, but the other four-wheel drive Sierra of Cali Grundle had retired early on with its gearbox jammed in neutral. Marco Allen, a little downcast with his first day's performance, which saw him down to sixth and fighting an audible misfire. Pierre Eklund's Audi Quattro was running perfectly, but Eklund felt he could handle a little more power. Another first day star, Kenneth Eriksson in the VW Golf GTI. The front wheel drive making him spectacular on just about every stage. And his performance, we saw him up to eighth, was despite an early broken fan belt and a badly overheating engine. After the ski run, a trotting track in Karlstad to finish the first day. Michael Eriksson still led for Lancia, but the feeling was it had been Mazda's day. Ingvar Karlsson was second for Mazda and Timo Salonen here was third. In fourth place, Stig Blomquist, who's now moved ahead of Kankanen and Allen. Kankanen, last year's Swedish winner, was at the end of a frustrating day in which, heading the field, he'd really just been clearing a path for others to follow. Kankanen fifth and Marco Allen in sixth, bouncing off the snowbanks in his frustration at losing contact with the leaders. Day two, and the second loop of stages out of Karlstad saw Michael Eriksson's Lancia under increasing pressure from the two Mazdas. Carlson in second clearly had instructions to attack but his aggressive approach ended with a collision with a snowbank that cost him a minute. Salonen seized his chance, and after three stages of the second day, he was challenging for the lead. The RAC winner and 85 world champion was at his fighting best. Blomquist, after his first day heroics, is about to hit problems. The engine note signifies a gear selector problem. The car is jammed in gear, a similar problem to that of Cali Grundle's. He can get to the end of the stage, but gestures his frustration. Taking advantage now is Ewa Kankinen, who moves ahead of Blomquist and into fourth place. Len too is having a much happier day on the harder, more slippery surface, and he's up to fifth.
Per Eklund in the Audi Quattro was being urged on by the continuing pressure of Kenneth Eriksson. For Eklund, there was also pressure from another privately entered Quattro, driven by Bjorn Danielson. This is Ericsson in ninth place behind Eklund and Danielson, and despite appearances, he's still having to nurse the car, which is continuing to overheat. debut on the Swedish rally for the Opel Cadet GSI. Only in 1800 form though, the two-litre car will be seen first on the National Breakdown Rally. Bjorn Johansson was off the pace, but the team were pretty happy. But this is the battle for the lead. Michael Eriksson being rapidly overhauled by the Mazda of Salonen. Falling back down the field, Ingvar Carlsson. And he's under pressure from the Lancia of Kankana. Fifth place is Allen. Sixth, and very sideways, is Blomquist. Seventh, Eklund. Eighth, Danielson. Ninth, Kenneth Eriksson. And then the Opel Cadet of Bjorn Johansson. It was clearly going to be Salonen's event, and he duly swept into the lead. Mazda were heading for their first World Championship victory, and it will be the first victory by an Oriental manufacturer in Europe for 11 years. Second place to the Monte Carlo winners Lancia and a great deal of credit to Michael Eriksson who was such a star on the RAC rally and has now led the last two world championship events on which he's competed. And third, fighting back from the many disadvantages of his first day position battling through the snow, the world champion Ewa Kankinen. Mazda at one point held the first three positions, but they're content with first and fourth. Ingvar Carlsson takes fourth after his earlier delay buried in the snowbank. Allen's frustrations of the first day turned into World Championship points on the second. A fifth place for Allen, and he can be expected to be the big challenger in the next round in Portugal. Stig Blomquist's aggression was rewarded with sixth place and the former world champion was spectacular and entertaining right to the end. First of the Quattros was Per Eklund alongside British co-driver Dave Whittock. They took seventh place. But a tremendous performance by Kenneth Eriksson in the Golf GTI. The first of the two-wheel drive cars took eighth. Ericsson, who so nearly caught Eklund, succeeded in splitting the Quattros. Broad Danielson was over two minutes behind Ericsson in ninth. The Opel GSI debut finished with 12th place for Bjorn Johansson. More power will be arriving shortly. So central Sweden can now return to the reindeer. But the midnight sun had a touch of the rising sun about it as Japan, in the shape of Mazda, scored a rare world championship victory. Some things never change, though. A Scandinavian was behind the wheel. Finland wins from Sweden, Salonen first, Ericsson second, and the world champion Kankanen third. But it's Kankanen with a seven-point lead in the Drivers' Championship, ahead of Salonen and the Monte Carlo winner, Mickey Biazion. Next stop, Portugal, where the roads are clear of snow, hopefully clear of spectators. <laughs>